Hi, this is YC. Welcome to my channel. And right now I'm going to show you how to do uh, simple dumplings, not the current kind that you have to make and roll out. Um, and, you know, takes up a lot of time. But these are really quick dumplings that you can make uh, during the week. And these are like the Dutch dumplings, what they call like penne. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. One of our, one of my um, viewers wanted me to do this. So I wanted to make sure that when it came to this part of me making my meal that I showed you how to do this. And you can double it for if you have a lot of people or you could, you know, just leave it like how I show you. So uh, we're going to start. You start off with um, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And you're going to need just a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. Okay. And then you're going to need um, two teaspoons of baking powder. I don't know if you, you can see this. I can't see this bowl. I'm going to move this so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So you need two teaspoons of baking powder and, and this is what the baking powder looks like so you know what I'm using okay just two teaspoons okay and then uh, you're just gonna mix it up I'm getting it everywhere you know me I like to fly flour everywhere Okay, and in the middle, you want to put an egg, make a well in your flour and put an egg, and then you want two teaspoons of oil. You can use Crisco oil, you know, whatever you use, canola, whatever, there's one, and there's two. Okay. Right. And that's all you're going to need. And you just blend the center where the well is with the egg and the oil. And you're taking the flour in the middle at the same time. You're pulling that flour into the middle until it forms a dough. And you're going to put that dough into little balls, okay? And when you get that all blended up and you form it into uh, little round balls, you're going to um, bring your broth that you've had your chicken and vegetables in all day um, you're going to bring that up to like a medium boil and you're going to throw these little balls in and then put the lid on after for about 12 minutes and then that's it that's all there is to it but you know you make um the best way to do it is to use like chicken thighs and you know you you put in your water and um a little bit of bonio cubes and your seasonings on your chicken and everything and and you know um make like a whole big soup uh, pot full you know and uh, then you you debone it you take the bones out of course and you have you're left with beautiful broth and chicken and you add whatever vegetables your family likes like celery carrots or whatever and then when it gets to that stage that's when you um, would drop in these and we're at that point now where you're going to add your milk to stiffen it because see how it's crumbly now it's starting to crumble and I ran out of uh milk so we're going to use a little bit of this half and half because this is the low fat one and I don't think it's going to matter you just put in a little bit at a time so you can get it gumming together you know you'll see it you'll see it form see how it's already starting to form that looks like one great big dumpling wait you don't want to leave it that big 
and and depending on if you like yours bready like doughy you would add more flour if you like them more noodley you might want to add a little bit more you know oil and uh, milk it's all in what you want how you want it you know what i mean how stiff you want them okay see how it's lifting all up now when it gets to this stage you can just drop pieces in like this and it'll cook into like a dumpling or you can roll them like a ball and then dump them all in at once but make sure your broth or soup or whatever you're doing is um, coming to a medium boil and then you, you you put those in and then you cover it for about 12 minutes and they're done your your chicken and dumplings is done um, so if you um, are the viewer that wanted me to do these and you have any questions just ask they're real real simple and easy to do um, on a weeknight as opposed to the dumplings you know that you roll out and cut so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this uh, dumpling little tutorial helps you have a great night